Hi guys, it's uh, me, Demon Rants. Today, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna do an update video of uh, uh, my PS PS2 and PS3 games. I'm gonna put these in the same video because uh, it won't be as long because uh, I don't have as many things to offer. This is basically just the games I missed out or maybe new ga games I got. <coughs> so anyway, let's start off with uh, uh, Soul Calibur 2. I got this uh, another recent game. I got this uh, in a in a charity shop. Quite good actually. And um, I wasn't expecting it to be so good. Uh, I got it because I'm a fighting game lover, and to be honest, it's it's really good. This, I mean, the fighting's solid. It's easy to learn, and uh, it has loads of good and interesting characters. To be honest, Mitsurugi's my favourite character. I I always like using him, but um, I just think it's it's really interesting. And you know, Street Fighter. You know, it's really hard to learn. You know, Street Fighter Four, but this. You can just, you know, well, pick it up, basically pick it up and play it. And also, I like the guest characters. Like, um, I know, like, the GameCube uh, version had a link from Legend of Zelda, and uh, the original Xbox version came with, like, Spawn, you know, from the comics. But I know the PS2 version was probably had the weakest guest character. I mean, it's this guy over here. You know, it's um, Hi Hachi from um, Tekken. I'm not a big Tekken fan. But I, but I still think he's a good character to play as, and he's one of my favourites. But yeah, this is a great game, and like I haven't tried any of the other Soul Calibur games, but um, I always like unlocking things. To be honest, my favourite is probably uh, Survival. I've um, I have done the um, arcade arcade mode twice, and um, I've done like I've done like the timed. You know, um, the timer, you know, how long you can defeat somebody, you know, and also, for anyone watching this who actually cares, you know, any Soul Calibur fan, for some reason, it comes up with, you know, a versus match, but the, but I, I can't click on it, you know, or I can't press it, but is it, I think it's because, um, you need two controllers plugged in. If, um, I'm doing something wrong, can you, uh, please tell me? Alright, thank you. The next one is, sorry it's a copy, you know, it's just like something cheap. And I don't think it has the actual discs in, but this is a, you know, um, Crash, uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. And I saw, oh, and it's also on the back, uh, uh, Crash Twin Sanity as well. But, um, this, I actually had a, I actually had official copies of, uh, this game, but I don't know where they went, they just disappeared. So I've just got this, uh, you know, to, to be honest, uh, a, you know crappy copy version but uh, I do the games were pretty good and in my opinion the last good crash games because wow they haven't done a good crash game in like years this came out in like was it I thought it was 2007 because that's when I remember playing it but I think it came out 2004 so pretty old mm, yeah but basically I start with a uh, tag team racing yeah <coughs> I remember having so much fun with this. Not only the racing, but the open world part, you know, where you can go to the different amusement parks. I always found it really funny. You know, you can always watch, you know, how Crash getting, you know, Crash getting killed and everything. I know it might sound, you know, really messed up, but they did it in a really funny, you know, um, comic comical violence. And um, I remember always, you know, the guys in the gas masks, you know, just walking around. I always remember, like, punching them you know, onto the roller coaster and just them getting hit by the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I always thought this was really it was a really good game. And um I know a lot of people didn't like this, but I thought it was really good. Now on the back sorry the disc came out. This is a twin twin sanity, which I didn't like as much. I know a lot of people like this but the game is just too damn hard. Seriously, I it's probably because I'm a noob and I haven't played it in years, but, like, I couldn't get past the part where you're, like, in a mine, you know, trying to get Cortex's, um, crystal. I didn't actually get past that part, so, um, yeah, um, didn't like this game very much, but, uh, Tag Team Racing's good. This is, a uh, Gran Turismo 3, not gonna talk long, but basically, yeah, um, 
another like favorite i never played it but my i always watch my dad play it and um it just have memories from you know listening to the song i think it had um you know uh book rogers um or jaguar you know my feeder i drank cider from a lemon I, I, this that might have been gran turismo 4 which i featured on the last one but yeah i think uh, this this game's really good and um, I guess I'm not really a PlayStation no I mean a racing game fan but my dad liked it so I can understand why another Gran Turismo game this is wait Gran Turismo concept I don't really know what this is and I don't remember is it some kind of like game of the year edition or special edition I, I don't know what this is so any of you Gran Turismo nutter, nutters <laughs> you know anything about this then please tell me because I don't remember anything from this I think my dad played it but it's got something to do with the 2002 Tokyo um, Gun Geneva 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 I don't know but <laughs> I'm guessing it's some kind of like um you know um oh my god what's it called uh you know convention maybe I don't know but there's the back I uh, Ice Age 2 come on I know that you may say oh I don't have a good taste in games because I have all these you know movie licensed kid games but like this I don't I don't really remember it all that well and it's by the company Sir Syria oh I'm sorry about that that's not funny but let's just yeah Syria oh that's that's not funny uh, anyway yeah whatever um I noticed that they made a lot of games that I used to play when I was little and I've got another game coming up next that I think were maybe published by them which I'll show you after but this I say to the meltdown I don't really remember anything anything at all from this game to be honest I think it was a platformer where you play as um Scrat, I think his name is the little like ice age squirrel guy in the front. I don't, I don't know his name. I'm I, I can't remember Ice Age very much, but um yeah, I think it was like a platformer and you jumped on the ice and stuff. I don't I don't remember, but um there's the back. A uh, brand new game that I just got for Christmas, Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. I mentioned this last time because. I thought that incredible this game I had would be like this, but anyway, this is probably one of the best games I have got on my PlayStation 2, and it's probably like one of the best superhero games ever made. I'm not joking. I am a I don't know if you knew, but I'm a massive Incredible Hulk fan, so there's barely been any good Hulk games. Like there was the um, PS1 game of Sega Saturn, you know where it's like a it's basically like a beat em up where you just walk around and it was really terrible. Then there was the 2003 movie, which is a movie game. And that was just like, you know, a linear, you know, where you go through and beat the bad guys up. And then there was the 2008, you know, which is very similar to this, but it, it's, it just sucks, that game. So that's why I didn't buy it. But this this game is just great. Okay, <coughs> other than that, it's it's really, you know, it's really challenging. But other than that, it's it is um, you know, it's definitely a, any like Hulk game should pick this up. Or if you if you don't like the Hulk at all, or you just want a game with loads of you know destruction and blowing everything up, definitely get this. It is you you won't regret it. It's also on the original Xbox and the GameCube. There's the back. Also, it's very much like GTA, but you can play as the Hulk. Red Baron. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, mm, this game sucked, to be honest. But I know my dad played it a lot, and um, I remember when he got it on like release. And this game was so bad that it doesn't even have an IGN page. I'm not joking. If you look up Red Baron, you know IGN, then it doesn't even say. It actually said it says something like this page is getting work has been is like is getting worked on sorry about that and that was that was like 2005 so <laughs> yeah that's pretty bad but 
can't really say much. It's another, uh, you fly around, you know, World War One, shoot the other guys in the planes. Uh, pretty, pretty boring. Really didn't like this game. But I understand my dad really liked it. I think, no, the, this, uh, I'm getting to the last couple PS2 games now. Uh, this is, this actually has the PS2 logo, but it's another copy. It's a real shame. But this is a uh, Wrath of Cortex. Another, like, it, it, it's really good, this. I mean, it's like, um, it takes the classic, you know, Crash Bandicoot games and puts them, you know, on, um, make, puts them on sixth generation. You know, it moves, you know, it just makes all the graphics better and the levels and everything. So I understand why people liked it. But this game is really hard, and I'm not joking. I couldn't get past the second boss. Probably because I sucked at it, and I haven't played this game in years. But, um, yeah. I, I never really played it again. But yeah, that's a uh, Rafa Cortex. Sorry, the disc is on the back. That's a uh, Matrix 2 Reloaded. I know that's a Matrix game. Well, no movie. But next one, this is. I was going to mention this in my last one, but I haven't finished it and I don't really plan to. But this is a uh, Canis Canem Edit or a uh, Bully. I actually have two copies. I think this might be the broken one because I got it from a shop and the disc was scratched and it, after the loading screen it just wouldn't work. So I had to go to another shop and buy another copy that ended up working. So they totally ripped me off. But um, yeah, it's I understand why people like it and um, I know it's like Grand Theft Auto in a school but I don't know because cause, you know you had to go to your lessons and everything it wasn't really open world you know what I mean but I, I do understand why people really like it and it's got like a cult phenomenon but um, yeah I, I would like it to get a sequel though you know maybe a PS4 you know um, you know like a HD no not a remake but you know an actual full out bully 2 yeah, that would be pretty cool. You know where Jimmy Hopkins is like old. <laughs> you know he's got older. But yeah, I I understand why people like it. Oh the yeah, I think they're all the they are all the uh, PS2 games now. Let's just go to the PS3 games now. This is Just Cause 2. Really, one of the best games I have ever played. Uh, this is definitely much better than Grand Theft Auto 5 and if you don't if you if you don't think so then screw you <laughs> seriously either that I think you're an idiot to be honest but uh, this game is so fun like you just got a grappling hook you can go anywhere you want and it's just the oh the world is massive the only problem is that I forgot to save it and it had to send me back to like you know the mission where you have to tow out the car and fight all the bad guys they're really annoying. I've only started the game, but <clears throat> the world is still really big. <sighs> Ugh, sorry about that. But um, <clears throat> yeah, just a just a great game. Just cause to, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's basically like an action movie. So that's a great game. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Uh, I know everyone seems to. Well, maybe not hate, but, well, the Nintendo Nazis, as I call them, hate it. Because it's, ooh, it's a Smash Brothers, but gay. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is, this is a really good game. I know, uh, I know people complain that it doesn't have, like, a proper health bar, you know, but I think, I think it kind of gets stressful sometimes, you know, where you try, you're trying to win, but you always lose, because you, your health isn't enough. But uh, I like how you can build your super meter up, which is a cool idea. And um, and yeah, there are many great characters, I know, but some of them were kind of missing, like Crash and Spyro. But I know they couldn't get the rights to them. But I, people are making such a big deal over it and saying, oh, I'm never going to get this game. Crash isn't even in it. <clears throat> but it makes me sad that... It makes me really, really sad that um, from that, uh, a guy called... Um, What's it, what's his name? Uh, I for, I've forgotten his name, but he's the guy. He's the guy from Legend of Dragoon, which is some uh, 
So, oh, I remember Dart. Yeah, Dart from a game called Legend of Dragoon, which I never played or never even heard of, was going to be in the game, but they cancelled it. I know I never heard of Legend of Dragoon, but it makes me really sad because this could have had more characters. And um, and yeah, and they cancelled the game, no more DLC because um, it didn't make a lot of money, and that's a, that's a real shame. It makes me really sad. But some guy, which, some Japanese guy, I can't pronounce his name, but he actually said never say never. And there, there might be a sequel in the future. You never know. So I really hope there is, because me and my friend, my friend, um, uh, I'll mention his name, Alex. <laughs> I won't mention his last name. But me and Alex were playing the game yesterday, and he had tons of fun. He really liked it. So, yeah, they'll be listening to me, Superbot. Please, please make a sequel. I'm begging you. There's the back. Now, the final game, Infamous 2, which, um, unlike Infamous 1, which I thought was okay, you know, a decent game, but, um, it was really frustrating. This isn't. There's some missions that are quite, you know, annoying, but it, it is a lot more fun, and the world is much better, and this, this game's just great. I mean... It improved everything from the first game and it just made everything better and so nothing much to say here I'm I'm quite through the game I'm not finished but um yeah uh, that's a really good game so I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, hopefully I might do another update video of like some games and stay tuned because I might do actual videos of the games that I have got so stay tuned and uh, uh by the way shout out to drayton599 uh, i know his ps2 collection video got deleted so um i'm glad it's back up again anyway so uh thank you and uh uh goodbye